Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. It's nice to talk to you. Who is this? Um, I have a quick question. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking about switching to a Mac, oh, and gosh. I'm very familiar with OpenOffice.org. And I heard that it's not very, it's still in beta testing on a Mac, and I don't want to, you know, mess around with the X11 board. I'm not exactly familiar with Macs yet. So I was wondering if you know any good word processor that was not too expensive that would work with Office documents, at least Word documents. Well, you're, you're in well, luck. There is at least one member of the community who likes Open Office and happens to work on a Mac. And he's created a uh, kind of a, I don't know if you'd call it a fork really, but a distribution of Open Office that was optimized specifically for OS X. It's called Neo Office. That's one uh -huh. word, Neo Office. And it oh. is the Open Office suite that has certain customizations and optimizations for Mac OS X. So, forget about running Open Office on your Mac. Use Neo Office. That, for all intents and purposes, is going to make a good office suite for most people. Uh, now, I've also I've run Mac Office from Microsoft, not only the, the prior version 2004 and the current version 2008, and can tell you that Neo Office for free is better. And now, yeah. mind you, Neo Office does not have a PIM, really. It doesn't have an Outlook clone. There really are no Outlook clones out there. Uh, the closest I've found, really, is Apple Mail in conjunction with iCal on OS X. That's the route I'm going to have to take uh, beyond using something like Exchange Server or wherever your Exchange provider. What do you use for email right now? Well, I'm very basic. I use Gmail. Okay, well, then you don't have to worry about the email yeah. portion of it, sure. Um, and in fact, with G, the cool thing about Gmail too is now it supports IMAP, as does Apple Mail. So you can get your Gmail through your desktop through the Apple Mail client. Uh, I would say that because uh, the reason why Neo Office is good for an Office suite because it's very reminiscent of the way a lot of people have been used to Office. After trying uh, the new Office suite, I was really disappointed. Not just in performance. Uh, but in user interface as well. And Entourage for Office 2008 is really, it's, well, the word I'm looking for is skanky. Uh, they added a lot of features. Unfortunately, they didn't really do much to update the interface. And it's, it's really, it's bad. It, it, they, they, it, needs to be, it needs to be redone from the ground up. And uh, so I wouldn't recommend going out and buying Mac Office right now. Uh, you know, I, w I would certainly stick with Neo Office. More to the point, I would uh, spend some money on iWork. Mm -hmm. So use, you could use Neo Office. If that gets you by, that's fine. But if you want to play around a bit and really get a good Apple, you know, experience, I think iWork is well worth the, the price. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's got Pages, which is, Pages is not exactly like Word. It's more like if... Word and PageMaker were to combine and take the features that a lot of average users would use, you'd end up with pages. So it's kind of like a word processor, but it's it's not a word processor. It's kind of like layout word processing. It's it's really you know creating more than just plain old word processing documents. Um, numbers is a spreadsheet applications in iWork, and I love numbers. I don't like doing spreadsheets, but numbers makes spreadsheets fun. And then of course Keynote, if you're going to do any kind of presentations. Now, beyond any of this desktop software, if you still don't want to spend anything, again, you've got the Neo Office recommendation. Uh, and if you're already a Gmail user, Google Docs. You don't need to install anything. It's there in the web browser. True. Yeah. So Thank you don't you feel, you, yeah, don't feel you, no. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. What was that? Oh, no, you go first. No, I was just going to say, don't feel you need to install something to get the functionality that's available potentially for free online. That's true. You use it. I was just looking for something more full feature, but thank you very much for your recommendation on Neo Office. Oh, I heard no problem. about it, but I was kind of unsure. So, you know, I trust you as a recommendation. So, thank you very much. I love the show. Hey, thank you. Well, stay tuned. Best is yet to okay. come. Oh, I'm DDR player 512, by the way, on the chat room. Oh, you a DDR-er? 
No, I'm uh, on in a chat room. I'm DDR player five twelve. Oh, okay. I thought you said DDR. Yeah, DDR. You know, like dance dance revolution. Oh, you did say that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. You too.